Welcome to Tech Brothers Zamir. In this video, we are going to learn how to check server status by using MySQL Workbencher. So let's open um, Workbencher and then uh, we can connect with the multiple servers uh, from here. Uh, I was connected with MySQL server uh, that's uh, installed on Linux. I can go back and I can connect with one more server. So let me connect with the, let's see, we have uh, one local uh, service, uh, server installed here on Windows machine. So right now, if you see that uh, this is Linux machine, uh, that's uh, where we have installed MySQL and this is a Windows uh, uh, local machine where we have installed MySQL. Now, if you go click on anywhere on top of this uh, right here, that will uh, switch uh, for the server, okay? So we are on a Linux uh, MySQL server and uh, let's uh, check the server status under management. Uh, so there is a lot of information here that uh, can help us uh, to see the quick status of a server, also see the configuration of a server, what we have done uh, at the time of installation and all that. So it tells us the host name on which this uh, uh, MySQL server is installed. It tells us the socket uh, location, tells us port and tells us the version of uh, MySQL. Also, it, uh, if you go further down, it tells you data directory, it tells you temp directory, it tells you disk. Uh, right here, it's not able to retrieve the information for data disk, but in the Windows machine, it is able to uh, get that information as well. Okay, so uh, it tells you like error log is enabled or, uh, you know, any performance schema is enabled and all different uh, uh, other features that are enabled, it is uh, showing us here. If they are not enabled, it's not showing us here. On the now uh, replication status if uh, this server will be part of the replication then we will see some uh, information here but we do not have any information authentication it is telling us uh, what we are using for authentication we are using password SSL information if you are using it will show you that information okay on the right side uh, it is telling you the service status so server status is running right now how many connections are there so five CPU, CPU load right now is pretty much zero on this server. Traffic 4.74 KB per second and key efficiency. So the index cache is pretty much used. So it means that most of the data coming from the memory. That's good. And the selects per second in ODB buffer usage, how much buffer is being used and in ODB reads per second, how much writes are happening. There is not a whole lot of activity going on here. I just have written just uh, some uh, uh, simple uh, uh, select queries I'm gonna go ahead and run it uh, so you can see some part of it uh, uh, at least uh, change in the status uh, okay so if we refresh here uh, no and uh, let's refresh and I ran uh, a lot of uh, select statements uh, so you can see that it is uh, showing us uh, that information now selects per second you can see right here at least uh, some bar is here so when uh, your server is working real time there will be reads writes and everything happening so you can uh, monitor those uh, uh, information from here it really does help okay now uh, this was the status of when uh, my sql server was installed on linux box uh, now this is server is installed on the windows machine so okay so we check that what it tells us uh, it tells us the host name socket mysql port name okay the version we have used for the installation uh, also tells a configuration file so it is telling us the configuration file where exactly our configuration file is and then now uh, further down there telling you performance schema and all other ssl availability enable or not uh, here you have the base uh, uh, directory for your installation there you have a data directory you have space how much is available and uh, uh, how, uh, for the um, uh, C, uh, MySQL server it tells you plugin directory term directory location and uh, where the error file or log file is created so general log is uh, disabled for now if we want to enable we can do that we will do in later videos uh, slow query login is enabled where exactly it is writing what is the file name so it is telling you that one replication status uh, so we don't have replication rest of that is a uh, pretty much same authentication is a password and we don't have SSL SSL uh, enabled on this machine as well okay uh, tells you server status running CPU uses 8 person because uh, in the Linux uh, you guys have seen that uh, the server uh, CPU uses pretty much zero because uh, I'm running only my SQL uh, server there on that Linux machine here on this Windows machine uh, I am running uh, uh, other processes as well, but uh, my SQL uh, databases are also a uh, little bigger and uh, they use some CPU. Okay. 
connections how many connections for and uh, you can see that the key efficiency 0, 0.0 so i i this, i'm not really writing a lot of queries on this uh, server that's why you don't see key efficiency so there isn't really data in the memory so if you have a low value of key efficiency that means it's not that great thing so it's not the my mysql is not returning a lot of data from index cache in the in from the memory so having a uh, hundred percent is great if you have less it means uh, you need to work on that one and uh, maybe increase the buffer pools uh, uh, size and all that so you, it can use more memory and keep more um, uh, queries or the data values in the in memory so your queries will uh, reuse that uh, data okay but in this case doesn't really matter we are not using these servers for real time uh, these are just for the demos so numbers are not uh, actual so but you can see the select uh, read write uh, in odb buffer usage and everything from uh, this uh, uh, right side window uh, I, I will just end this information here but uh, you let me know what you see uh, on your servers uh, when you see the server status in uh, windows and uh, on uh, if you have installed the mysql servers on the linux machine machines uh, uh, does this help and um, have you have you used this uh, feature before so let me know in the comments and thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video